Thanks for watching. I'm Margot Kinberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. The Who Done It is a staple in crime fiction and has been for many, many years. And modern crime fiction has taken all sorts of different approaches to the Who Done It sort of novel. Let's take a look at one of them today and turn the spotlight on Benjamin Stevens. Everyone in my family has killed someone. Ernie Cunningham is an Australian teacher and crime fiction fan who comes from a crime family. Three years before the events in the novel, he witnessed his brother Michael commit a murder and turned him over to the police. Now, Michael's been released from prison and the Cunningham family has gathered at the Sky Lodge Mountain Retreat for a reunion. Ernie doesn't want to go. His family still hasn't forgiven him for what they consider a betrayal. But there's a lot of pressure on him, so he makes the trip. The novel takes the form of a book that he's writing about the trip and is editing. Not long after the reunion begins, the body of a stranger is discovered near the lodge. A major snowstorm is hit, so at first it looks as though the man died of exposure. But Ernie and his stepsister Sophia notice too many things that contradict that. Local PC Darius Crawford arrests Michael for murder and Ernie's mother insists that the least he can do is clear his brother's name. One possibility is that the man was killed by a man the press has dubbed Black Tongue. If so, then a serial killer may be loose at the resort and will have to be found quickly before any other members of the family are killed. But there are other possibilities too. Then there's another murder and another. As Ernie gets closer to the truth, we learn more about the Cunningham family and how what's happening at the lodge fits in with the family's history. And in the end, we learn the truth. So what elements hold this novel together? What elements keep the plot going? Well, one of them is Ernie Cunningham's background. He writes how-to books for mystery authors, so there's a bit of a meta element in the novel. Ronald Cox's Ten Commandments of Detective Fiction are listed at the beginning of the novel, and Ernie, who narrates the story, refers to them more than once. And if you read the novel, so should you. As Ernie narrates the story, he occasionally breaks the fourth wall and addresses the reader directly. Sometimes it's commentary on the other characters and their backstories, and sometimes it's commentary on the story itself, a meta look at the story in the light of detective fiction. Ernie likes wisecrack, so readers who enjoy that sort of wit will appreciate those asides. Another important element in the novel is the set of characters. They're all quirky in their way, and sometimes they're dysfunctional, but they're not zany, and they're not over the top. Their interactions and history together are important in the plot development, and the plot development is an important element of the story. Ernie does give clues throughout, and he lays everything out clearly, but it's important to pay close attention to the details, and he tells you that himself. The plot development is one of several ways in which Stevens pays tribute to classic and golden age crime fiction. There's also the setting, an isolated snowbound lodge, the characters, all of whom are at daggers drawn with at least one other character, and the references to classic and golden age novels and authors. Readers who enjoy crime fiction from those times will appreciate that aspect of the novel. Everyone in my family has killed someone is a sometimes witty take on the old fashioned who done it. It features an unusual crime family, a snowbound lodge as a setting, and a narrator who keeps his promise to tell the truth, or at least the truth as he understands it. But you have to pay close attention. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kinberg. Thanks for watching.